Hey, I'm Scott, and I am an American in Bangkok. I got a little subject I'd like to discuss. You know, the other day I I did a video, uh, not long ago, I did a video uh, stating that you just need to learn to say no. Uh, and also, uh, another video, uh, something like 10, 10 things to remember if you want to try to get with a decent girl. Uh, which I'll put the links up. You know, hopefully I'll remember to do that. Um, but I wanted to talk about something. After I did the one video about the 10 things to remember, um, you know, I, I, I got a message from somebody saying, hey, you know, something that's very important is uh, boundaries and learning and knowing your boundaries and learning to be able to, uh, to, to stick to them. And I think this is probably the biggest problem with people who come to Thailand who either they have low self-esteem, they have uh, very little uh, experience with uh, Thai women, uh, and I, I think that they just don't know how to set boundaries. And there is a test. He sent me a test. Now, I tested on this thing, and uh, the highest possible score is uh, 20. And I got an 18. He uh, told me that the majority of his Thai friends, uh, who well, all of his Thai friends who took the took the test scored somewhere around six. So Thai people don't have great boundaries, and I think that when it comes to when it comes to foreigners coming to Thailand and they don't have boundaries, this is how they get stepped on. Uh, you know, if if I Listen, if I say to you, listen, I need $10,000 to uh, to build a house. Please, I really need it. Mama sick, papa. You guys are going to look at me and go, get out of here. Get you probably never watch me again. Okay? I got people who complain about having to when I when I ask them to donate a dollar to my cause, much less, you know, 10,000. But then again, I don't have a vagina. All right? And uh, you know, with men that makes a huge difference. <laughs> They'll cough up the money for a vagina, but they're not going to cough up the money for some guy like me, um, which doesn't surprise me. But anyway, you know, when you come over here and if you're the kind of guy, I mean, I get messages from guys going, what is with these dudes? Why would they ever get involved? Well, who knows why they get involved? Maybe they're ugly. Maybe they haven't had the attention back home that uh, that they really want. And, you know, hey. Okay, fine. You know, I mean, the Thailand is great for that. It's great for the. It's a great ego boost, but you have to understand that it's sometimes the what is being thrown out there is kind of like a hook. It, the hook is to reel you in, and then they got you. And uh, I forget what the what the whole statement was, but instead of you know like nailing you once for a five hundred thousand baht, the idea with most Thai women that are working in bars or, and are actively pursuing men so that they have guys on the payroll, so to speak, they got donations, sponsorship coming in, is that they hook them, they reel them in, and they keep them on the line, and they bleed them slowly, as opposed to, you know, stabbing them once and throwing them in the, in the bait box or the fish box, whatever. So having boundaries is extremely important. If, if you know, some woman, uh, listen, I, I've said this before uh, in, in another video where the guy said something that I thought was hilarious. Uh, the girl was asking him for money and he said, I'm sorry, but my mother told me never to give uh, a, a woman money unless she was my wife or something like that. And that's perfect, you know, because they relate to the mother thing. You know, uh, you don't want to go against your mother. Right, Mom? That's why I'm not swearing. Or I'm trying not to. I think I said vagina, but that's not really swearing. That's a clinical term. Uh, anyway, yeah, boundaries. If you got boundaries, stick to them. You know, you maybe, you know, you can move them a few millimeters once in a while or something. 
Uh, maybe you need to rethink them sometimes, but you got to have boundaries when you come here. If you come here and you have no boundaries, forget about it. You are, you're a dead fish. You're done. Okay. You're, you're, you're cooked. So I'm going to put the link to this test below in the description. And I'd like to find out how many of you, especially guys who have written me in the past with their little uh, letters and dilemmas, and uh, and tell me what your score is. Uh, because if you have a really low score, if you have a score below 6, forget about it. But if you got a score like 6 to 10, maybe there's some hope for you. Especially if you're a, a, a Westerner. You know, if you're from some other country, it might be different because your culture is different. But I think it's very important to remember to have those boundaries. There are things I won't do. Uh, somebody asked me to do something uh, quite some time ago, well, a little while ago. They asked me to do something. Uh, I'll, I'll give uh, one example. I've had people ask, I've had companies ask to use my photos. Uh, this is many years ago and, and recently also. I've had companies say, oh, you know, uh, I'm really sorry, but we can't, uh, we can't pay you for the photos. But, you know, we got a lot of exposure. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but, you know, exposure doesn't pay the bills. I don't give my photographs away for free, especially to some company that, while they may be having a hard time financially, that's not my problem. You know, I'm in this for the money. And that's the bottom line. You know, I mean, like, you know, it's a service. It's, it allows me to live. So I told them, no, I'm sorry, you can't use it. And just the other day, I put up some uh, photos of Takra and some Takra organization said, oh, well, we really like to use those. Don't know what to tell you. Unless you're willing to pay, you can't do it. So I set a boundary. I had a limit and a line that I didn't want to cross. And that line is, and there's a, in photography and, and writing, uh, the, there are, th this is something that's fairly common. People uh, from uh, websites, from organizations, from whatever they want to uh, use your, your article or your photographs, but they don't want to pay. Oh, I'm really sorry, but we can't pay. But we, we have a lot of subscribers, and they'll be looking at your stuff. Now, sometimes it may be beneficial for you to do that, but most of the time it's not. And, uh, you know, there if you didn't have a boundary, you're just like, okay, use whatever you want. Go ahead. You can't do that with women. You can't do that with, with your buddies. You know, if your buddy says to me, hey, let me uh, borrow your uh, $50,000 uh, car, and uh, for the next month, because I, my car is broke down. You'd be like, well, what about me? I, I, I don't have a second car. Yeah, well, that's, you know, just let me borrow it. What are you going to say? Of course, you're going to be like, get, get out of here. Well, you know, some chick comes to you and goes, after a week, she goes, I love you. Can we go see my mom, papa? We talk about getting married. And maybe you give me one million baht for uh, Sinsaw. <laughs> Think about how ludicrous it is. Okay, so boundaries are something that... Uh, are very important. Very, very important. Know your boundaries, set them, stick to them, and you should have very few problems here in Thailand. I, I think the guys who uh, the guys who have the majority of problems either are desperate, uh, they're lonely, or their boundaries are not firmly set, or you know, maybe they just, they really believe that it's love and uh, they, they don't care. They're willing to take love however they can get it. Somebody just wrote me and said, we can't choose who we're with. And see, to me, uh, you, can, you may not be able to choose who you're attracted to, but you can choose who to be with. Women do that all the time, okay? Okay. Uh, and I believe a lot of men do also, but these are men who, they don't have a problem saying no, and they have boundaries. So, anyway, that's all I got. Uh, if you haven't already picked up my uh, book, They Call Me Farang, well, you can pick it up at theycallmefarang.com or through Amazon. Uh, I do have another book coming out. It's all about the letters that I've received from, from people around the world. Um, and uh, I also have a video series on moving to Thailand that will be completed fairly soon. Um, so please keep an eye out for them. Uh, if you like this video, please click like, click share, 
visit my website, websites, at AmericanInBangkok.com, theycallmeferang.com, and also my photography site at scottmallon.net. Until next time, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Choke the left jerk and line.